Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Appreciate you tuning in for a video. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag, a wear and tear and review of my bag, and then switching into another bag because it is about to start raining today. And the one I'm carrying has Viquetta. So the bag I have been using for the last week is the Louis Vuitton Palace with the Rose Ballerine. And I thought it would be a good time to do um, a review of a wear and tear on it because it's almost two years old. It'll be two years old next month. Um, I got this for my birthday two years ago from my husband and um, it's held up pretty well. And we'll get into that. First let me pull everything out and then I'll kind of show you wear and tear on it and then move into the Speedy B25 and the Damier Ben for the rainy weather. So there's two magnetic pockets on the outside on both parts. One of my favorite things about this bag, I always have my cell phone in one, usually on the side that I wear it close to my body so I can feel if it vibrates. I have my um, Rose Ballerine key, key clay, I can speak, <laughs> and just has my car key in there. And for some reason, I have an Ikea card. <laughs> then inside the bag, let me show you there. I have my full-size um, Chanel sunglasses. This case is massive. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's really, really huge. <laughs> I have my um, new uh, toiletry pouch 15. The toiletry pouch 19. I don't know why I need to carry both, but I did. I guess because there's room in this bag. <laughs> and the wallet I'm using is the Clements in the Emprunt in the Rose Ballerine color. And the last thing, oh, no, two more things. Uh, the monogram key clay. And in this, I just have earbuds. And then the last thing is a pack of tissues. So let me show you the inside of the bag. One side, you got a really big slip pocket. And on the other side, you have two slip pockets right here. And then of course, as I said, the two outside pockets. And it's all lined in that beautiful um, microfiber lining in the Rose Ballerine. It does have a D-ring for keys. This one is made in the USA. Now, as far as wear and tear, because um, you know it is two years old, we're starting to get a pretty good patina on the handles. It's starting to turn like a really pretty honey color. Um, I've seen a lot of these bags really develop a lot of slouch. Um, it's starting to slouch a little bit. I really bought it thinking it was a super structured bag. And it can be, um, if it starts getting really slouchy over on me, I'll just put a bag organizer in it and that will fix it right away. But um, mine has held up really pretty well. You have the little pleats on the side. And then on the bottom, the feet, which Louis Vuitton just, it does, they don't do enough feet. You need to have more feet. Sorry, I keep knocking the camera. I really need to put it back on a table like I used to film because I cross and uncross my legs the whole time I'm filming, sorry. But um, it does say on the very front here, Louis Vuitton Paris. The leather is absolutely beautiful and it does go down quite a bit inside on both sides of the bag and then you've got the um, piping going around in Rose Ballerine. There's newer versions of this that are a little bit more expensive than this one that also have um, the leather on both sides that match the leather here and it also has the colored leather handles. So overall um, for two years, I really don't see a lot of wear on it other than it is 
slightly getting a little bit slouchy. Here's the zipper pulls. Focus, they're really not scratched. Louis Vuitton, I think, has some of the best zippers. That little, it's not wanting to focus. There we go. Nope, sorry. Um, it's hard to figure out how to film in this room because I have, I'm waiting on shutters. So there's like either too much light or there's not enough light. But um, the inside, and I do not use a bag organizer with this at all. And it is just immaculate. But I do make thing, uh, sure everything is in a pouch or, you know, I don't put like loose pins or lipsticks or anything like that in there. So I would actually really, really recommend this. I love the detachable shoulder strap, which I always leave on because I think it is so cute to do handheld or crook of the arm held. I make it for like 15 minutes and then I put it on my shoulder. And it is adjustable and it is removable. So that's a really nice feature there too. And there's really, there's no wear on these either. They're not discoloring, anything like that. I'm gonna take the strap off and show you a little bit better. And the strap does just have the one flower print the whole way and there is five um, adjustable holes where you can adjust it and I do like that it has the extra tab to hold I mean sometimes the bags don't have that and that piece will kind of stick out so I like that it does have that so I think it's been it's been a really great bag. I really have enjoyed this one a lot. Show you again. Now let's see what will transfer into uh, my Speedy uh, 25. Oh, and in case you didn't notice, I finally got my desk. I have no decorations yet. I'm gonna do shelves and all sorts of stuff, but finally got the desk. <laughs> it took long enough, for goodness sakes. <laughs> So we'll start with the Empreinte um, Rose Ballerine wallet. And I do wanna show you, I do have a bag organizer in there because I am using so many Rose Ballerine pieces. I picked out a, um, a light pink organizer from Original Club. And I'm just a little bit afraid of putting Rose Ballerine into the um, red interior. Just don't wanna get color transfer. So my car key next, and let's see if that'll fit in one of the side. So the car key is in one of the little side slits, and then the wallet is laying there flat, and then the earbuds, and the other little slot there, and then I probably cannot fit both of these, so I'm going to go see if the 19 will fit because it has more of my things in it right now and it does and the sunglasses I'm not sure because this is giant giant case no it does it goes on top and then iPhone in one of the side compartments Try it that way. There we go. And then lastly, pack of tissues in another side compartment here. And that is everything with the exception of the toilet trip pouch 15, which if I left out those giant sunglasses, I could probably fit this in too, but I really don't need to carry of them. <laughs> so there that is fully packed up, ready for the rain. Just kind of show you a size difference with these two. I would say this is probably a little more comparable to a Speedy 30. Hard to get them both in the shot. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this. 
try it this way. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think the Palas is probably more Speedy 30 size than 25 size. So should you be interested in that one? And loaded up and ready for the day. So thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I really appreciate it. I hope you will click that subscribe button down below and a thumbs up. Hope to talk to you again very soon on my channel. Thanks again and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.